My name is Noelle Dickerson. I am an English major and international development minor at BYU. And today I'm going to be talking about podcasting and how it has helped me develop a personal brand um, and how I'm going to use that to market myself to future employers. Um, I currently work for the BYU Library Production Unit. Uh, we create promotional content for the library, um, mainly through video. And through that, I've been able to learn the basic principles of film, cinematography, um, production. And I've also learned script writing, basics of camera, equipment operation, lighting, audio recording, composition, set etiquette. And I've even been able to act in a few different videos, although I am not particularly good at that. Um, and they recognize that. But most of all, I've been able to learn how to use the Adobe Creative Suite. So I use Premiere Pro to edit the videos that I create. I also have used Audition and Photoshop to create graphics and to tweak some audio. Um, and as I've edited these videos, when they're done, I've learned to promote them through YouTube, Vimeo, and social media platforms such as Instagram. Um, and I've particularly learned about search engine optimization and how to write descriptions that um, tie into what we want audiences to find. Um, so that brings in the Instant Podcast, which is my project for this semester. It's a lifestyle podcast about the Instant Pot, so we cook different recipes every week. Um, and I've gained a lot of lessons from just making this podcast. Uh, the first would be cooking. <laughs> um, that's not something that most people gain out of a podcasting experience, but I don't know how to cook. So this has actually been very helpful. Um, and I'm making this ziti for my friends this weekend. Um, and so I've also been able to add to my knowledge of basic editing software. I'm the sound designer for our podcast and I've learned how to use GarageBand and that's actually tied into my use with Adobe Audition to create um, better sounding audio across all of my work. Um, I've also gained marketing skills um, as I've promoted our podcast across different social media platforms. So I've used different um, Facebook groups to generate responses and generate interest in our podcast. And along with that, I've expanded my knowledge of different platforms such as Anchor, Spotify, and um, Apple Podcasts, as well as learned how to interact with people on Reddit. And I've really taken away that interaction is key in a promotional campaign. Um, and our marketing efforts have been successful. We have over 500 plays at this point. Our listeners are from seven different countries. Most of the United States are represented. Um, and it's taught me a lot about this interactive promotional strategy that I really can apply um, in all aspects of my life. And my friend actually is the owner of a production company. They make diff different commercials for um, different companies. And he has noticed my experience with production through podcasting and my job and has asked me to assist um, in different projects that they're doing. Um, I've also used my podcasting experience on different cover letters and my resume to uh, apply to different internships this summer. And as I was applying to these internships, I noticed that one of my favorite think tanks um, has a podcast about social justice and different issues that are going on with that. Um, and so it's called Off Kilter. And I hadn't noticed before, hadn't realized that my interest in the nonprofit sector tied in to my love for podcasting and media and production. Um, and so I looked into it a little bit more and found that there's a whole genre of podcasts related to nonprofit work. So this one um, talks about different types of NGO leadership, different strategies to promote your nonprofit organization. Um, I also learned that one of my favorite organizations, the Center for Global Development, has its own podcast where they talk about new, innovative social and entrepreneurship strategies um, and different ways that people are working to alleviate poverty across the world. So I've learned that there are so many different ways to incorporate podcasting into the nonprofit sector. One LinkedIn group even suggests using podcasting to give underprivileged populations a voice um, and to use that platform to, to share their experiences. Uh, and the other day as I was searching for jobs, I noticed on the International Rescue Committee's website a job that I am completely qualified for now that I've been in this class. They want someone who's experienced with editing, production, and marketing who also can write. Um, so my English major and my experience in this podcast class go hand in hand to um, create a personal brand of a writer and a producer that can aid me in my future job search in my desired field of nonprofit work. Thank you.